This is the only thing that was left intact with no corrosion from fire or a scratch on its writings. The tale of this ill-fated chopper that killed a minister, his assistant, two bodyguards and two pilots. However, the question on many people's minds as the country mourns the six for three days is how did this happen? The helicopter bought from a South African company in December last year began making air trips in January this year. It was bought at a cost of 240 million Kenya shillings. News at 8 has established that the chopper was not insured, diminishing any hopes of compensation. The tender for new police choppers was won by Eurocopter Southern African Limited last year. The group subsidiary is in charge of South African markets. The Kenya Police Air Wing Eurocopter AS350B3E was navigated by Police Superintendent Nasi Gituanja moments before crashing into Ngong Forest and what you've established is that the two pilots frequently complained about the condition of the chopper after its lighting system failed to go off after parking it in the hangar some few weeks ago. Last week, the chopper was grounded for three days at Wilson Airport and only on Friday, the late Nancy Gitwanja flew it to Voy and back to Wilson Airport as part of an air test. Friday night, just before she took a weekend off duty to attend to family matters in Kandara, she was called by a senior police officer to fly Saitoti and Ojode because she had been to the area twice. Her objections arising from the condition of the plane were overruled. Police sources say Professor George Saitoti and Joshua Ora Ojode had booked an AP chopper to fly them for a church fundraising in Homa Bay. However, last-minute plans saw them opting to use the new chopper against the pilot's wishes. What is more puzzling is how the chopper was cleared despite Nancy Gitwanje's observations that the chopper was not in good shape. Sources say that seven minutes after takeoff, the late Saitoti's bodyguard Joshua Tonke called his colleague back at Wilson Airport and asked him not to leave the airport with Saitoti's car because they were turning back. That was the last conversation. Transport Minister Emos Kimunya has said preliminary reports rule out bad weather as the cause of the crash. Uh, it was indicated uh, weather was uh, fine in Gong area. The visibility was 8 kilometers uh, within the, although in fog. The mystery is what happened between 8.38 a.m. and 8.42 a.m. A five-member public inquiry team has been constituted to probe the helicopter crash. It is headed by Appeal Court Judge Kalpana Rawal. For News at 8, I'm Dennis Okari.